Take off calmly. Call oh, wow. That is an interesting strike right there. Okay, there we go. That is what I call a limit there. Now, there is not much that can bring down an airliner these days. Not an engine failure, not a landing gear failure, not a hydraulic issue. So many redundancies. It's pretty hard to get an airplane out of the skies. But there's one very vital part about airplanes that make them fly. Obviously, it's the wing, which are symmetrical, of course, left to right. And you can imagine mid-air collisions, like what happened here, are oftentimes fatal. What happens if one part of your wing gets cut off? Today, it's time to make an experiment. How much wing can this airplane lose on one side and still maintain flight? A normal Swiss 001 video, kind of a hot knife challenge. Let's cut off that darn left wing. And we're gonna start small. Boom, like this. Yes, take a look. We've already removed the left winglet. Wait, this is kind of freaky. I mean, the, the light has stayed apparently. But other than that, we definitely we have some aerodynamic deficiency here. Something that the flight simulator does not simulate, though, is the structural component of this. What happens if this wing is, like, cut it off here? How does that, you know, affect the structural performance of, for example, that aileron? Which will probably go in a second as well. I just realized that. That's going to be the next step already here. Let's see if we notice anything, though. Does this airplane fly normally still? Despite quite a bit of a part of the wing being off. Come on. All right, here we go. Looking okay. Take off. Did you do that? Yes, and it does that. Very nice. And you can barely tell anything. What I'm doing, though, is I'm flying this plane at zero wind here. And you can maybe tell a little bit of a drift right there. The plane appears to bank a little... Look, if I just let go of the controls right here, the plane seems to bank a little bit to the left, which makes a bit of sense. But all right, Autopilot, for example, can still fly this plane very well, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All is good. That worked. Yeah, no problem. Can maintain definitely. It's so it's time to keep going. Get out the knife again like they do in German cities. Come on. All right. What do you think of this right here? Now, we are in a bit of trouble here. We have pretty much most of our ailerons gotten rid of now. Looks like we could be in trouble. At least the uh, uh, nav light is still there for some reason. I'm too lazy to remove that. But take a look right now. Is this plane going to fly still? Let's take a look. It looks like we should be able to... You know, keep going. Let's just see if I notice anything at all. Maybe this just feels like a rough crosswind. Shut up, airplane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the flaps down. All right, here is our airplane control checks. Uh, kind of. Once again, I think in real life, structural wise, the other one would just practically fall off because there is like no hinge there, is it? All right, there you go. 140 knots. Time to rotate. Let's see if I notice anything at all. All right, there you go. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, I do notice something. Airplane veers heavily, once again to the left, interestingly. I have to very much steer against it. If I like get low go of the control, the airplane, you know, all almost practically induces a left turn right here. Look at that. I have to very much steer against that, trim against that. Let's see if the autopilot um, knows what's up. Come on, turn that on, see if it works. Yeah, no, it works though. It works. Look, autopilot doesn't even realize it. It's able to very much just balance out our differential. So that is perfect. So let's keep this going come on we're on a good streak right here let's go and remove more of that left aileron all right now we're starting to get into trouble territory first of all aileron that seems quite broken holy moly now you can see here on this light how long this wing would have been we have some proper asymmetry now and that gets us into loss of trouble because we've started to get rid of the outer tank right here is the a330 fuel tank and we kind of caught away here and so we're going to definitely leak fuel if there was to be a collision that would cut this part of the wing off we would also see an explosion now we would leak fuel that is probably very bad uh, womp womp. Let's maybe try to take off now and see if this aerodynamically works at least. Let's go. Full power. Maybe get those flaps out now and release brakes. Come on, you can do it. They're just fine. If oh, wow. It looks, from this angle, it looks a bit scary now what we're about to do. Runway 1, 4. Take off. Come on, just keep it steady. Keep it on the center line. We might need to steer quite a lot to the right. You know? Let's pretend that we have got a lot of fat people on the right wing or something like that. Like a work. Okay, here we go, taking off. As you can see, the joystick right here points all the way to the right already. Just making sure that we're ready. Okay, come on. A330, take off now. Yes, and it... 
Oh, okay. One more try. Come on. Airbus 8330, don't die on us now. Let's bank to the right already and see if we can get it off into the air. Which is... Okay, I'm fully steering to the right. You can see the aileron fully deflected, but the airplane actually flies. Look! I mean, it barely flies. I'm banking literally all the way to the right. Uh, 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 okay, turn on autopilot now. Save us, autopilot. Huh, quite impressive. Okay, autopilot is able to save the day. I mean, it fully deflects aileron once again to be seen here, but it does the job. Hey, and that might generally, like, be the max here. Like, I would be afraid to go any where further. I am kind of curious though, is the autopilot still able to carry out an auto land right now? I mean, it is doing that. It's following the glide slopes and stuff. So, uh, let's see about that. Come on, airplane, land yourself. And it doesn't want to do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Something that's important is that this airplane needs a bit more speed than usual. Okay, okay, okay. No, it gives up. Unlike, you know, lower speed, you need a lot of aileron deflection. And the autopilot just doesn't like banking that much. All right, and so it turns off itself. But we can fly without any problems still. Let's do a quick landing here. 30, 20, retard, 10, drive. Okay, I tried getting here on center line using rudder input here, but there you go, that's been a landing. Not a very smooth one, but if this were to happen in real life, not that big of a deal. Not bad, Airbus A330. Now, I'm a little bit curious about, you know, continuing this project. Um, so I think we're gonna have to get rid of the full aileron surfaces then. Okay, now we're starting to get in trouble. We have completely lost our aileron here. Um, this is definitely not going to fly properly anymore, is it? We've removed like, what, five more feet here of the surf plane? That is genuinely quite scary. Um, let's take off without any flaps at all. I would quite like the surf plane to speed up as much as possible and be fast as much as possible in order to fly properly still. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's pull it off. Take off. Uh, 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 okay, here we go. We are in massive trouble here. We are only able to fly using rudder right there. Jesus Christ. Okay, we need more rudder. Rudder is definitely necessary in order to keep this airplane flying somewhat. Okay, we are in massive trouble. Once again, in real life, we'd struggle with um, lots of fuel leaking. Let's turn on the autopilot and see if it works at all, if it's able to comply. Ah, uh-uh, uh-uh. This feels like balancing a stick on your head now, really. I'm fully deflecting the joystick to the right right now in order to somewhat keep this plane stable. In order to properly fly, we need a bit more right rudder input or something. This airplane is a mess, but it's still fly, surprisingly. Although the autopilot has become absolutely useless now, it just refuses to turn on. Now, with increased speed, we're now at 270 knots, this plane flies a bit better, but at lower speed, this plane probably just falls out of the skies at this point. Look at this. So, top tip, if you lose part of your wing, you have to fly faster. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I can't cope with that bank angle. Do you guys just see that? A little bit of right rudder seems to fix this. Qu quite a few problems okay. here. That was hard landing, but we managed to stay alive. That's not bad. Trouble is, if your wing were to be cut off in real life, in midair, you probably wouldn't really notice at first. And you have to really step in, put that joystick to the right all the way. Otherwise, you die. Now our brakes are on fire. But hey, at least we've survived. So let's keep going. By the way, I switched, um... Uh, locations to get better frames per second. By the way, I have no... Take a close look here. And take a close look here now. We have now massive problems. That is now pretty much half the wing cut off, really. Look, all the way here to this fuel pod. There is no way this plane will fly normally. Once again, good strategy. Let's use no flaps and try to fly as fast as possible. But there's no way this will work now. Genuinely. Full power on those engines, which are very quickly losing fuel, probably. Okay, all is fine. Or probably not fine. Oh, no. 150 knots. 160 knots. Soon this airplane should be able to take off. Let's pull up. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Come on. Stay there. Stay good. Stay in the air. Okay. That is unbelievable. Okay. Now, if we were to only use aileron, look at this. Absolutely impossible. We can keep this airplane in the air somewhat by using rudder here. So we kind of drift along through the air. That's the only way this will work. Now, right, banks are actually possible. This plane flies still. I'm disappointed. I wanted to see a bit more action now. Look at this. There's absolutely no way. Let's maybe cut all the way to like here, right? So that should be quite critical, like here. All right. Okay, I even cut out a bit more there. There's no way this will work. For some reason, the 
this pod right there is still there. Uh, just gives us a good re re visualization of how much is now missing. There is no way this plane still fly. I think we've established that, you know, a wing can be cut off all the way to like here. This can go and the plane can still fly. If it's an A330 and the pilots are highly aware of the situation and also not for long because of the fuel and the tanks and stuff. This might be interesting now for takeoff. If this flies, I'm gonna... There's no way this will fly at all. All right, there you go. Come on, go all the way here into the damper. That already works. Come on, take off. Take off calmly. Cal oh, wow, that is an interesting strike right there. Okay, there we go. That is what I call a limit there. Uh, it's, it flies. Not for long. <laughs> look at that. All right, look at this. No way this actually flies like this. It kind of flies all right. Look at the shadow right there. This is absolutely unrealistic. Yeah, it doesn't really climb very much. Come on. You can... Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. We might have also gotten rid of the horizontal stabilizer there too. Uh, well, it is able to stay in the air. And now we're able to somewhat climb here. This is absolutely ridiculous. This plane should be falling out of the sky, but it's driving into the sky after a, quite a bit of a disruptive takeoff. We can even put the landing gear up, up, up. That is surely the limit. I am highly impressed though. It somewhat works. How? All right, no kidding. We uh, are down to the second pod, right? We're near the engine here. This is the part that's being simulated. There is no way this airplane will fly. It just won't. Okay, here we go. 200 knots, just take off now. I kind of went as, expe as expected. So everybody, there you go. If you cut your wing off, you can cut off quite a substantial part, but not too much. That's a great learning. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New The York. You've got beautiful names.